Annual Carbon Emissions from Bottom Trawling A popular fishing method used to capture seafood at the bottom of the ocean is equivalent to around 40% of annual transportation emissions in the U.S. A new study published Thursday found, reaffirming previous research on the harms of bottom trawling. The good news is that reducing bottom trawling carbon emissions will deliver immediate benefits, Enrique Sala, study author and executive director of ocean preservation company Pristine Seas, said in a statement. The bad news is, Delaying action ensures that emissions from trawling will continue seeping into the atmosphere a decade from now. Some researchers don't believe bottom trawling emits as much carbon as previously reported. Researchers who wrote a response paper to the 2021 study believe the study overestimated the carbon emissions of bottom trawling by between 100 and 1,000 times due to the researchers' flawed assumption of the carbon cycle. Around 70% of buried carbon can be broken down by bottom trawling and release carbon dioxide, according to the 2021 study. However, buried carbon isn't reactive to oxygen, and therefore most of it cannot be broken down, the response paper says. It doesn't mean, the 2021 study, can't be important, but it does mean that the model makes no sense, lead author of the response paper and researcher at Bangor University in Wales told Seafood Source News. A separate paper released in 2022 challenged claims that there was less carbon in trawled areas compared to untrawled areas. It reviewed 49 papers and found 61% saw no difference, 29% reported less carbon in untrawled areas and 10% reported higher carbon levels in trawled areas of the ocean.19 million tons. That's how much seafood is caught by bottom trawling annually. Making bottom trawling responsible for over a quarter of all wild-caught seafood captured each year. According to a study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America. Besides releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, bottom trawling has other dangerous effects. Between 40% to 45% of carbon released by bottom trawling remains in the ocean, which increases ocean acidification and leads to harmful damage on aquatic plants and animals, according to Thursday's paper. The practice can also lead to a change in nutrient levels, the destruction of habitats and plant roots and reduce photosynthesis in ocean-dwelling organisms, according to the U.S. Geographical Survey, an arm of the Department of the Interior. It's also believed bottom trawling is wasteful. 50% of all unwanted and discarded fish by the fishing industry is caught through bottom trawling. This is equivalent to around 437 million tons of discarded fish or a loss of $560 billion, the University of California, Santa Barbara reports. Looking for climate solutions? Protect more ocean, researchers find. New York Times.